again everyone today we're going to be taking a look at the Arteezy Rampage uh, this clip is from the Manila Masters this is one of the upper bracket matchups EG taking on Team Faceless this is a clip from game two of this series we're about 14 minutes in here and Arteezy is about to get a Rampage against Team Faceless which if you're unaware of what a Rampage is it is five straight kills uh, within a small time frame from a single player. So let's unpause the game and take a look at this and we can break this down. So the Rampage is going to begin with a pickoff onto the Juggernaut here. We can see EG will lie in wait for him. RTZ throws out the Static Link so he's starting to drain away the damage from the Juggernaut. And the TP attempt is going to be cancelled. There's the first kill. So now Let's break down what happens here. This Arteezy and his teammates, they found a single pickoff, but now Faceless, they're trying to TP in support here. Unfortunately, these TPs went down prior to the Juggernaut actually dying. So with the Juggernaut dead, the team's pretty scattered right now. We can see the Queen of Pain is coming up from the south. We've got the Slaughter underneath the tower. There's one TP coming in. In just a moment, we'll see a second TP. But the problem with this TP support is that Faceless really don't have a lot to throw at the enemy. As we can see, the Juggernaut is already dead. Disruptor doesn't have his ultimate available. And the Darkseer actually hasn't skilled it at all. So we're going to see that Faceless has a lot of spells they can throw out, but it's not quite going to be enough. And because of that, Arteezy manages to survive on just a sliver of health and between the support from his teammates and the damage that he's already stolen from Static Link, he's going to get him that Rampage. So let's take a look at the play. TPs will come in, EG supports are waiting on the back line. You see there the Crush, the Sonic Wave, even the Vacuum, but as I'll pause the game now, Faces have just thrown out every spell that they've got. They've used the Scream, they've used the Sonic Wave, Jabs used his stun already, the Vacuum came out from the Darkseer as well, and as you can see, EG's heroes are still looking strong. And now this is the problem, because EG are going to fire back. The Overgrowth is in place now, being casted as we speak, as I've paused the game. That's going to lock all the Faceless heroes down. The Supernova here from the Phoenix, that you can't quite see through the particle effects, my mistake there. Not the best pause time, but that supernova is going to go off as well, dealing a whole lot of damage and stunning anyone who's still nearby. And because of that, all of these faceless heroes are going to be locked in place and unable to attack. So despite the fact that Arteezy is going to have just the bare minimum amount of health, they can't touch him, and he has more than enough damage to finish them off. And we can see there all the faceless heroes fall. Final hit there onto the Disruptor who was trying to hide away in the tree line. And now we see the chat wheel commands come out. <laughs> and Arteezy walks away with the Rampage. And not only is that a nice flashy play at this stage in the game, lots of Reddit threads being created from that, this is a play that decidedly turns the momentum in EG's favor. Faceless have lost all five of their heroes. And they'll go on to lose the game in about 10 minutes or so past this point. So that Rampage, not just a uh, nice individual play on the part of Arteezy. It was a very strong maneuver from EG as an entire team. And it is a massively game-changing play.